You call that a slight problem? You idiot. Well, you'd better take care of him, or the next slight problem will be yours, my friend. You know, you're really a very lovely girl. And I'm sure you're very curious as to why we walked away from the police and why I asked you to come to your apartment. You frighten me, you know. I frighten myself. You know, there's something wrong with this goddamn city. It's full of... It's full of violence. And I always seem to be caught in the middle of it. No. Not tonight. Thank <laughs> you. 
You want to stay out of hospitals, start respecting the Eleventh Commandment. Mind your own business. P1. This is P5 calling P1. This is P5 calling P1. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Go ahead, P5. I want an ambulance sent to the steps of Via San Pietro in Vincoli. I have a parachute major here beaten to a pulp. Where do you think you're going? Ah, oh, sorry, Inspector. This way, sir. Would you mind doing that later on, nurse? Right, sir. If you don't mind my saying so, you look like you pulled the D-ring about ten minutes too late. <laughs> How do you feel, Major? We've been building up quite an interesting file on you. We know all about your playing the hero yesterday, preventing that kidnapping. Tell me, Major Altieri, why didn't you stick around until we got there? Mind your own business. Major, you're not very friendly to the law, are you? Let me tell you, you'd be on a slab in the morgue right now. If it weren't for the action of one of my agents. You want me to say thank you? No, I want you to describe those kidnappers. If you hadn't disappeared yesterday, we might have got a lead on them right then. Why the hell weren't you there to take my place? Now, you cops are never anywhere to be found when you need it. You know what, Major? I'm beginning to dislike you. Well, it's fine by me. It's a mutual feeling. So it looks like you're wasting your energy around here. Matter of fact, why don't you hire Donald Duck? And he'll resolve the entire investigation for you. Or Popeye the Sailor Man, right? <laughs> you watch too much TV, Major. How is he, Inspector? Pretty good, I'd say. A man's health is relative to sarcasm. Is there any reply to my message? Sorry, miss. Afraid we never got as far as exchanging pleasantries. Now then, you want to ride back? I can manage, all right, thank you. Central to 37, Central to 37. If you locate Inspector Tozzi, let me know immediately. Excuse me a second. Thank you, 37. Keep trying, please. Tozzi to Central, go ahead. We have a hold up at the post office in Via Cerchi. They're blocked inside with hostages. Send cars 10, 13, and 28 to Via Cerchi. I'll meet them there in five minutes. Listen, tell your tin soldier from me when he gets out of the hospital to get down off his pedestal. Tell him to quit acting the hero. And tell him to start cooperating. We're on the same side. Major, I was told you had a slight accident. Please, make yourself comfortable. They told you the wrong thing, or they didn't want to tell you at all. Oh, really, Major? Then you tell me. I was attacked. It was an organized beating. They attacked an officer? Violated the sanctity of the uniform? No, I was not in uniform. But they knew exactly who I was. Because they were armed with a new MK-118. What do you mean, an MK-118? That's the new machine gun that was issued to our regiment. That's the information that I wanted to give you. Thank you, Altieri. By the way, were you interrogated? You know, questioned by the police at all? A policeman came to see me at the hospital. But you're the only one I would trust with this confidence. Very sensible of you, Major. A cigar? They're real Havanas. Sent from my counterpart in the Pentagon. 
Thank you, sir, but uh, I smoke a pipe. I, uh, I hear you've had all the files on military airport supplies sent to your office. Are you looking for anything in particular? No, nothing in particular, sir. I just want to do my job. Uh, I see. Well, forget about work. Take a two-week vacation. That's an order, Alfieri. Mm, by the way, Major, as far as that MK-118 case is concerned, I'll be taking care of it myself. Yes, sir. <laughs>